A travel guide for doing the golden round trip up to Mount Pilatus in Lucerne, Switzerland. The interesting part about it, if you're going in the summer, is you can take this. It's the world's steepest Cogway Railway at 48%. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know if you're considering doing the golden round trip, including an overview of the trip itself, and we'll take a look at each one of the transportation options and talk about some of the great things to do when you're up on Mount Pilatus, including a really awesome toboggan ride. Okay, let's start with the overview. This trip will take you up to Mount Pilatus, an elevation of 7,000 feet. It begins and ends at Lucerne Station. From there, you take either a boat or a train to the Cogwheel Railway. You go up to the top, then you take some cable cars down and a bus back to the train station. And if you have a Swiss travel pass, then this trip is included 100% in it. For the first leg of the trip, we opted for the train because it only takes 17 minutes. The boat, it would go on the lake that you see from the train, takes about an hour. If you have the Swiss travel pass, you don't need to buy a ticket for the train or the boat. Either way, you'll end up here at Alpanstad, which is where you take the cogwheel train to start your ascent up. If you're traveling on the Swiss rail pass to the cogwheel railway, you'll have to exchange for a ticket either at this little umbrella station or if that's not staffed at the main ticket booth over here. The cogwheel train runs about every 45 minutes or so. For the best views, you'll want to sit on the side with the lake. At the beginning, you get some peak views of the lake. Then the view is obstructed by trees for a while, but then once you get to the top, the view opens up again. It's pretty neat. We even got to see some wildlife on our way up. I also want to mention this cogwheel railway. It's been running since 1889. That is a long time. After 30 minutes, you'll make it to the top of Mount Pilatus and see this truly amazing view. Back there is Lake Lucerne, and then just that way is the town of Lucerne. This is really high. Topher's gonna stay in his bag because he's afraid of these heights. And if you're into hiking, there's some hiking trails you can take to go even higher for the views from the peak. Slightly less hikey, there's also a wraparound cliff walk you can take on the other side that takes you actually kind of inside the mountain through these little caves. If you're hungry, at the top you'll find a self-serve restaurant. If you're tired, there's a hotel. And then in the underground complex, there's some more restaurants and shops, gift shops, of course. But what I thought was really neat, if you eat this little bistro bar right here, there's some bistro tables with a really nice view. Once you're done with the mountaintop, you take this big cable car down the mountain. This has one of the best views. It's really impressive. These come every 10 to 15 minutes or so. Over on the mountaintop over there, there was a neat chapel on the top. I mean, that looks like a pretty cool place to get married or have some sort of function like that. If you'd like a little bit of adventure in your journey, get off the cable car at Frant Montag. You can do the rope adventure course, or you can do the toboggan run, or some mountain biking or some hiking. And I think the views of Lake Lucerne are even better from here, because it's not quite as high. Uh, as the peak. Oh yeah, but the toboggan run, super awesome. You should totally do this if you have some time when you're riding this cable car on the way down. I've got a whole separate video on the toboggan. You can find the link in the description below or click the card in the upper right corner of the video. So after stopping in Frank Montag for your various adventure activities, then you get on one of these smaller cable cars, kind of a scenic cable car that seats four people. This takes you down about 15 minutes to the next stop where you get on to an Another cable car and so I'll see you on that one. So about that second cable car I told you about, well, turns out it's the same one and at the Kreinzer Egg station it's just a transfer station. So you keep on the same cable car, keep seated, and then you head down to Luzerne. This becomes our Kreins and then the bus to Luzerne. This is sort of the steepest section and it's pretty neat views. I'd say even better as you get like this to Luzerne because it's things are more clear, a little more closer, you can actually make out what you're looking at. If you want to do some hiking, this might be a good spot to hike down from. To take the bus to Lucerne after the cable car, you have to walk. It is about a five minute walk from the cable car station, but the route is pretty well signed. Just follow these blue Lucerne Aero bus signs and uh, you'll make it to the bus stop. Here's another one right here. You'll take the bus from this main street this is what the station looks like. And it says bus station number one, 15 minutes to Lucerne City every eight minutes. And then you'll be getting on bus number one, which is a 
three-part articulating bus. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up below, or you could follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Links in the description below, or consider subscribing for new videos every Sunday, or you might enjoy watching some of my other videos from Switzerland. Click any of them to watch, or find those in the description below, too. All right, bye-bye.